Now let's look at some important tests that can help us in analyzing fertility factors. So firstly, uh, for the female, there's going to be a bunch of ovarian function tests. Um, this would include the follicular stimulating hormone, um, the AMH blood test that can, these both tests can help us check the quality and the quantity of the ovaries. So AMH is basically, um, it gives us an indication to the ovarian reserve. Um, there are other blood tests as well. Um, I think uh, luteinizing hormone, progesterone levels, um, estrogen levels, all these uh, function, uh, ovarian function tests can help us in analyzing fertility for, female uh, for the female partners. For the male partners, semen analysis uh, remains the most critical test till date. Um, it can help us assess whether the count, motility, and the quality of sperm is good enough for a natural pregnancy. Or if not, um, should IUI be the next uh, treatment option or should uh, these patients skip that and go straight to an IVF. Um, although this is the gold standard to assess the male fertility, uh, it has quite a few drawbacks. It doesn't really tell us the fertilizing capacity of the sperm. Um, for and it doesn't tell us if the DNA of the sperm is intact or not. Um, that, so there are other tests as well. I think most commonly used these days is uh, sperm DNA fragmentation index test, which is available at most leading fertility clinics. Um, so if the sperm count is okay, if the motility is okay, but there are some known factors uh, which could cause infertility for that patient. We recommend them getting a semen DFI done. Um, similarly, if the male partner is more than 40 or 45 years old, we generally get it done to rule out all the other factors and you know to plan out our treatment in a better way. Uh, next comes our hormonal blood levels of estrogen, progesterone, prolactin, luteinizing hormone, follicular stimulating hormone. Um, similarly, for males, we can get luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone tests done. Uh, we look at their testosterone levels. Um, for males, if um, on a physical, on a general uh, assessment if their testicular size is not normal uh, ultrasound of testis could be an option lastly basal body temperature i think um, it's quite a basic test um, so basal body temperature is the temperature of a body at rest um, this temperature rises when a, a woman ovulates um, and she is most fertile two to three days before the temperature starts rising. So if we were to track the basal body temperature for say three or four cycles, we could um, predict the most fertile days of a woman's uh, menstrual cycle. But it has to be said that it's not a perfect science. Um, there can be issues with noting down the exact body temperatures. Um, and it's not exactly a foolproof method to analyze fertility. Right. So now we've looked at all the various factors that can impact fertility. Uh, we've looked at, um, you know, all the various tests that we can do. 
I think uh, time and again, people have uh, really stressed upon the importance of folic, of folic acid and vitamins when it comes to pregnancy. Um, so for folic acid, it's been well documented now that a high dose of folic acid during pregnancy can reduce the risk of uh, birth defects and it can help with neural tube development. So either by supplements or by food that is rich in folic acid, like spinach, legumes, citrus fruits, try and include folic acid in uh, the diet. Vitamin D. Um, so I think vitamin D is a hormone that I think we in India, most of us are probably uh, deficient in. You, even though we get so much sunlight in this country, most of us are working inside buildings all the time. Um, even if we are outside, we are under shade most of the times or else we're at home. So we hardly get exposed to sunlight as much as we should. Um, but there is, again, there's been quite a lot of documented evidence that has said that you need ad uh, adequate lev uh, levels of vitamin D to support overall health and pregnancy. Um, while sunlight is probably the best and the cheapest source of vitamin D, other sources include fortified milk, um, eggs, fatty fish. Iron. I think uh, irons, most of the women in this country are in some ways, uh, you know, have or have had uh, some level of iron deficiency anemia in some uh, during some part of their lives. Uh, iron is an absolute essential when it comes to pregnancy. Um, there are iron supplements, but you can have iron in red meat, fish, spinach, beans. Um, these help in boosting fertility and can support pregnancy till the live birth. Right, so this brings me to my conclusion today, I think with a comprehensive medical history, a proper understanding of lifestyle factors and awareness of risks that might um, impact fertility and pregnancy, you know, uh, knowledge about the right diagnostic tests, all these in total can give an individual the best chance of conceiving and delivering a healthy baby.